Hollywood's highest paid actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson has just purchased a new mansion that only someone dubbed Hollywood's highest paid actor could afford. While he has sprawling properties in both Florida and Georgia, he recently put down a whopping $27.8 million for an estate in the most exclusive guard gated community in all of LA, Beverly Park. Today we'll check out The Rock's new mansion and a couple of his other homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dwayne Johnson, well known by his ring name The Rock, is an actor, producer, retired pro wrestler, and former football player. He's regarded as one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time, and he wrestled in the WWE for nearly a decade before pursuing his career on the big screen. His long list of movies include the Fast and Furious franchise, the Jumanji franchise, and much more. With over two. 230 million followers on Instagram, his legendary film career, and even his own brand tequila, you already know The Rock has the means to live like a king. These days, he's Hollywood's highest paid actor for the second year in a row no less, reportedly earning over $87 million before June 2019 and June 2020, as well as $23 million for the Netflix movie Red Notice alone. That being said, he's amassed an estimated net worth of $400 million, some of which he likes to invest in luxury products. Properties. While he's a busy man with a never ending drive for success when The Rock is at home with his wife Lauren Hashian and their kids, he's focused on his role of best dad ever. Now The Rock has a new mansion in Beverly Park to create more family memories. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. We've reported on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's homes in the past, but he just bought a new $27.8 million home in the most exclusive Los Angeles hood, so it seemed like the perfect time for an update. We'll check out this mansion as well as a couple of his other homes. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. Just last month, it was reported that The Rock splurged on some new real estate, this time in Los Angeles. And not just any place in LA either. The actor and his family will now live in what's often considered the most exclusive and priciest gated community in the city, Beverly Park. Some of their closest neighbors will include the likes of Denzel Washington, Sofia Vergara, Eddie Murphy, and more. Beverly Park is high in the mountains above Beverly Hills, and The Rock's new home is set at the end of a super quiet street behind iron gates and down a long driveway lined with olive trees. The deal went down off market, but he reportedly paid $27.8 million for the mansion, which was actually at a $2 million plus discount, and the property spans 3.67 acres of sprawling land. His rockness can feel like royalty rolling up to the home where a central stone fountain sits on the motor court, and the exterior is also full of ivy lined archways and Mediterranean landscaping. The place feels like a European or Tuscan estate rather than just an LA house, with features like a a red tile roof and multiple turrets, balconies, and covered patios throughout. While every mansion in Beverly Park is luxury at its finest, it's said that The Rock's new home is actually considered the largest property in the neighborhood. Inside, the home spans over 17,600 square feet with six beds and an excessive 11.5 bathrooms throughout. Not to mention, there's an additional 2,500 square foot guest house. This property has a star studded past to go with it, being sold to The Rock by actor Paul Reeser and before that, it was owned by rock star Alex Van Halen who actually built the abode in 1993. Dwayne's new mansion was described as a complete resort and that it definitely is, being packed with all the amenities you could imagine, from a world class gym to an at home baseball diamond and everything in between. There are several gates surrounding the home for easy access in and out of the property as well as for privacy. There are spaces to occupy the entire family in this mansion, from the luxury common rooms inside to the park like grounds. Features include a music studio, which was installed by Van Halen while he lived here, an elevator, and one of my favorite rooms, the at-home movie theater. This space is decorated in a cozy, classic color scheme with plush recliners. For those who care about their fitness, just like The Rock, the mansion boasts a top 
top of the line home gym, full size tennis court, and even its own baseball diamond. Clearly, the options are endless. Not only is there a swimming pool and spa outside, there's an indoor lap lane swimming pool situated in a room with mint green walls and French doors leading to the backyard. The park like grounds feature many mature trees, picturesque trails, and hidden sanctuaries. There are multiple terraces, some covered and some not, including spaces to entertain like a fire pit and outdoor kitchen area. Prior to buying his brand new mega mansion in California, The Rock was living with his family out in the town of Powder Springs, Georgia, about an hour away from Atlanta. Here, he owned a grand French country inspired equestrian estate on 45 acres of land. Earlier this year, the home came up on the market for $7.5 million, but unfortunately for the Jumanji star, the asking price is about $2 million less than he paid, which was $9.5 million in cash, not even a year and a half ago. At least he's Hollywood's highest paid actor and can clearly afford the multi-million dollar loss. At the heart of the property, there's the French country mega mansion, spanning almost 15,000 square feet with eight beds, six baths, and three powder rooms. Some wonder whether Dwayne ever actually moved into the mansion or lived here recently, since listing photos show it was cleared of belongings and most furniture. He has been living in the area though, and if it wasn't this mansion the whole time, there was also a nearby rental mansion we know of him living at with his family recently. Anyways, this elegant French mansion is full of high-end finishes, like wide plank walnut floors, exposed stone walls, and large antique wood beams on vaulted ceilings. The formal living and dining rooms, as well as other common spaces, offer high ceilings, stone fireplaces in some of the rooms, and a lot of natural lights. The gourmet kitchen has a massive island, elegant chandelier, and is decked out in wood, like much of the mansion. There's also a wood-paneled library and a sprawling family room attached to a casual dining room. On the lower level of the rocks, former Georgia abode, there's a massive lounge with wet bar and walk-in wine cellar. Six family bedrooms are situated on the upper floor, and elsewhere there's a multi-room guest apartment with the master suite on the main floor. The rustic mansion is loaded with exposed wood and stone, and I think that creates a cozy, classic feel in the mansion, regardless of how large it is. Outside, the grounds are made up of rolling lawns, manicured gardens, and a ton of amenities. Overlooking a pristine private lake, the home has everything you need to entertain or just enjoy a family barbecue. There's an outdoor kitchen as well as features like an open air pavilion with fireplace and cabana bath next to the sparkling pool. Since it is an equestrian estate after all, of course there are horse facilities such as a 12 stall barn, hay barn and riding arena. Not to mention there's a historic log cabin, 150 year old farmhouse and additional staff quarters to round out the extensive property. It seems that either this mansion we've been looking at or the one he was renting in the same neighborhood is the same Georgia place he frequently shows on his Instagram feed. The interiors appear to have stylish furnishings and many rooms have been shown when Dwayne captures moments with his youngest daughters, Jasmine and Tiana. When he was brushing Tiana's hair, he revealed one of their bedrooms, which was complete with a TV, toys, and a children's table, but we've also seen a glimpse of the outside. The exterior revealed red brick and beautiful Georgian windows, as well as a garden with flower beds and paved paths, while the front of the home Home featured a large white door flanked by pillars. Of course, a key feature of The Rock's home, much like any mansion he chooses to live at, has got to be the gym. He nicknamed his Iron Paradise, and the massive workout space could easily beat a public gym. Even when the former wrestler is on the road, he has a traveling workout arena he brings along with him. Before we wrap up this house tour, let's take a quick look at The Rock's Florida mansion, which he reportedly sold in summer of 2019 for $4.5 million. This mansion spanned 15000 square feet and was located in the posh Southwest Ranches area near Fort Lauderdale, Florida, built in a contemporary Mediterranean style. Not only was the home full of refined elegance to start with, but Dwayne also spent a rumored 300 k for a custom designed gym at this property. But are you surprised? The grounds of the home resembled the resort ideal for Florida weather with a swimming pool, jacuzzi, and space to unwind. Not to mention there was a grilling area and outdoor kitchen too. His former Florida mansion was full of high ceilings and grand rooms with a lot of dark wood around the interior. The master suite was luxurious, much like the rest of the rooms, and even the attached bathroom was fit for a king. Other features indoors included a full home movie theater and spaces to work like the wood panel office. The Rock bought this mansion from former Miami Dolphin Vernon Carey for $3.4 million back in 2012. So now we've taken a look at the homes of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, aka the highest paid actor in Hollywood. We saw his brand new mansion in Beverly Park, Los Angeles 
that he dropped a whopping $27.8 million on, as well as his former properties in Georgia and Florida. After checking those out, what did you guys think? Is his new sprawling mansion worth that much dough? What were your favorite features? I personally love the grounds and the property since they looked like a park, as well as the home movie theater. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video. What you gonna do? And I'm gonna give you my review, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, what freaking disturbed me. Killing a baby, and it definitely made me sad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!